everyone, this is Cindy Bauman from Stamped with Aloha, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to use punches to create an adorable little hula girl. All right, the first thing that we're gonna use is our Vases Builder Punch by Stampin' Up, and we're gonna use a piece of the Petal Pink cardstock. So I'm gonna take the cardstock, insert it into the punch, and I'm gonna punch out every single one of the punches. And then I'm going to slide this over and just along the edge, I wanna get this one additional stem here and I'm gonna punch that out as well. Okay, using the same punch, I'm gonna take a piece of our Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper and what I've done is I've cut it into just a little thin strip and I'm gonna just place this into the punch so that it gets just this one vase right here and I'm gonna punch that out as well. Okay, so now we're done with that punch and let's lay out the pieces we have so far. So we have these two vases and then this vase and this flower we don't need, so we're gonna put those to the side. We have the two stems and then we have this flower vase that matches this one here. Okay, to start to assemble the little girl, we're gonna take the two vases and we're gonna take the the neck of this vase, put a little bit of our adhesive, and we're gonna flip it upside down, and how appropriate that the neck of the vase now becomes the neck of our hula girl. Okay, so there's the vase and the body. So now these two stems are gonna become the arms. So you can put the um, arms in any direction, so you'll just, you're, you're gonna to wanna to just put them on there, kinda of right close to what would be the shoulder area, and so just pay attention to where you put the adhesive based on um, which direction you want the arms to go in. So I'm gonna have one arm going up and one arm going down like that. All right, so then I'm gonna put this aside and we'll put this one aside for right now. And the next punch we're gonna use is our tulip um, builder punch. So we're gonna take a piece of basic black cardstock, feed it into the punch, and we're gonna punch out one black tulip flower. And then we're gonna take the same punch and using a smaller scrap of basic black cardstock, we're gonna slide it into our punch and just get the bottom half of the tulip. We just need that little area there. All right, so now we're gonna take the tulip flower, we're gonna place it upside down, and then we'll take some adhesive and carefully put adhesive at the top of and on the back, and you can use liquid glue if you like. Um, I'm just using the snail because it's faster and easier for the video. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just place that there. So now you can see that the tulip became the hair. Now this little bottom of the tulip, this little half piece, we're gonna grab a pair of our paper snips. And I just wanna add a little texture by just cutting a small triangle out of some area on the front. It doesn't matter which side you put it on, but you just want a little bit of, of texture in the bangs by cutting out a little triangle. All right, then I'm gonna flip this over and use a black dimensional, and that will lift up the bangs, and we can just place that right over the top, matching up with the bottom of the other punch. Okay, now we're ready to add the dress. So we have this vase that we punched out of the Tropical Oasis paper, and the last punch we're gonna use is a half inch circle punch. I'm gonna turn it upside down and I just wanna take a little nip out of the top of it just to form a neckline. Okay, I'm gonna flip that over, add some adhesive, and we're going to put that, line it up right over top of the other punch like that. Okay, the last thing that we're gonna do is draw a face. We'll draw in two eyes and we'll add a smile. And then using the Blushing Bride um, Stampin' Right marker, I'm going to just go ahead and add some rosy cheeks. And there she is. And then the last thing that I usually do is I usually add a flower to the hair. And so you could, you, you could um, let me show you one of the sample cards I have here. So for this particular one, I just die cut from the Birthday Bonanza dies. This is like the pom-pom for the top of the hat that was um, cut out using the framelit. So that makes a cute flower that's appropriate for the size of the Sula Girl. So I did a couple variations of that card using that same flower, as well as the card that I showed you at the start of the, the video. Okay, 
You could also use our frosted flower embellishments. And so you could just peel one of these off and stick it right there. And that looks super cute. And if you wanna add a rhinestone on top of that, you can grab um, a red rhinestone and we'll just take our, take your pick tool and pick it up and just add a red rhinestone. I think that looks really cute. Okay, there you have it. Our super cute, pretty simple punch art hula girl. I hope you like it. Have a blessed day.